Hello, today I will be talking to you about the radioisotope iodine-125. I will cover the types of radiation it produces, how it is used in medicine, the benefits and the problems that iodine-125 has. Here in this diagram, you can see gamma rays which are produced from the iodine treating a cancer cell. And that is exactly what the radioisotope does. It is used in medicines to treat patients with brain, lung and prostate cancer. The advantages of this radioisotope are, it is great for medical studies, the radiation can slow the growth of a tumour, the capsule is so small it is easy to implant. As you can see in this picture, the size of the implant is very tiny. But with advantages also comes disadvantages, like the capsule is very fragile and needs to be handled with a lot of care. And if not handled properly, the radiation could be exposed to a person in not need of the treatment, which could cause serious damage to the person. The good way is out the bad in this situation. Yes, there are disadvantages to using iodine-125. And it may be scary to put something into your body that gives off radiation, but why not take the risk? Many people are diagnosed with cancer each day, and to know that there was something out there that could save your life, it would be stupid not to use it. As you can see, there are more advantages than there are disadvantages, which means iodine-125 is for the best. I hope you have learned a lot of things from watching this video and I hope you enjoy learning about all the different types of radioisotopes. Thank you very much.